We're over here at King's Chopping, October 4th. We just started on the little bunk today. Once that bunk's full, the normal corn chopping will be all done. And then we'll have to wait a little bit for it to really dry off and die. Let that moisture drop for uh, snaplage. strip on this side of the field. Christos, Phil, and Alex. You better head over. Not even a full head for the last pass here.
you see the third axle started to hit right there? When we first uh, were building the sideboards and stuff like that, we were like, oh, we'll take the axles off, but then we didn't get around to it. And then we noticed that they are actually way more helpful than hurtful when they're on the trailer because right now it's coming down the hill, those catch, it stops any teetering. When you pull out of a field, um, those axles hit before the, the back ones and it kind of squares the trailer back out. So we are not going to pull that third axle off even though we don't use it, but it helps so much when you're pulling in and out of fields that we don't want to take it off. And you got my dad here. He's hauling sand. Fixing holes. Leveling places. It's all gonna get done. Almost forgot about the couple acres in the back biking for the grass. This stuff over 12 foot tall. Every year this stuff is over 12 foot. got through that outside row a little bit farther in corn's over 13 foot first i was saying some spots looks like 13 and a half yeah you can't see anything anymore that's the stuff you want to see when you're chopping that's that's tall corn well over the chopper he's chopping blind that's the kind of stuff that makes you smile when you're chopping good visual of what Kristoff could see and that's about absolutely nothing because his head is below the tassels. I wish it wasn't so dirty. The window. So we are in Doug King's now. That's at a golf cell farm. The main section I chopped already. I got a little bit left in the island. Well, it's not quite an island, but it's almost. The corn is pretty good right here. It's almost th it's 13 foot tall. It's nice corn. And then we'll head to Enosburg, I think. Get that chopped, you probably won't finish it all today, but we'll get most of it. This is a nice corn. It's definitely a foot and a half taller than a chopper. I think it's, it's surrounded by trees the whole way around. That's probably why it makes such high corn. It doesn't have no wind. It's a nice river bottom right here. Oh yeah, 13, 13 and a half foot right here. One. You don't know, do you? No, I don't know. He forgot the Pioneer number. But it is Pioneer. Uh -huh. See, I got here when he, Alex gave him lunch, so. I ate my lunch. Might, only, might really enjoy something. If only 90% of the fields were like this. It's already shorter than it was. The tall stuff 
Bob's always over there in that corner. That whole section we shopped earlier. Next to the road now. It's the last one. Your white car looks pretty good next to my white car. Well, that doesn't work. Sometimes you just gotta let her have it. The thing is, I'm not sure how common. Starting off, I don't know if you're ready. You know, you know so when you're starting that. to get the tire spinning, that's when things are tending to break. I mean, I don't think I want to keep the truck forever. So we're gonna have to go down into the field, turn around, and then we can leave. Everyone's out a little bit for All the miles of wear and tear you're saving on it. But by not using it, we didn't get stuck and have to pull out. But you gotta be very careful when you're kind of coming off the clutch to get those tires going, because uh, that's a good time to snap drive shafts, U joints, or anything in the transmission or rear end. So you give or take, you give and take. Got Hertzbees coming by. Okay. That's Hoyt. Watching the video, so I think I've put him on there a couple times when I see him going by. You got Alex right here. That's a different way to do it. He didn't want Alex to have to turn around, so he told her to just bag up. Getting chopped. Just sometimes in reverse. She's she's full. We are down in Enosburg. He's opening up a little bit in the back. They did chop the whole big section into the big bunk this year, but we're putting some different fields into the little bunk this year. And then the, the smaller section down here is also going to the little bunk. Corn is shorter than the last field we were, in, we were in, but it's not horrible. I mean, there's stuff just about 12 foot, so you can't complain too hard. It looks like most of it's 11 something, but we've had a lot worse. Now we're into the middle. Now he's into some nice 12 foot corn. It looks like it's all holding like this, so. It'd be nice to have some good corn too. I mean, I'm showing you this, but I've showed you plenty of our crappy corn also this year, so. I'm gonna do a little bit of a quick swap out right here. You look in the mirror. 
you got Gahar rolling in right next to me. So with the eight row head, it is tight, but it's not impossible. So right now you see the chute's angled on my side, so he's still filling me. But he will be filling up Gahar in a little bit. thing about at least having an eight row head because you don't got to stop I mean 10 rows or 12 rows make it even easier but eight rows the bare minimum you could do it with see when he gets to a spot he over he turned the spout so he didn't shoot in the truck because when he goes to a spot where there's no corn instead of trying to hit it and then whatever doesn't go hits the window he just completely just avoids the truck that way he doesn't cover front windows so we do lose a little corn but a lot less window cleaning or chances of a knife or something going through the chopper just smashing into the window so he just tries to avoid it completely when he hits no corn Nice and dry going today. So, keeps the loads full for being a long drive. Tyler here leaving the field loaded. The old Ford still bringing low tones. We got Christoph chopping into Alex. Christoph, Phil, and Johan. We definitely put a full load on that. Keep the things moving, trying to keep that chopper going with no waiting. It's working pretty good today. The lines you see on the road is Marcus spreading manure, so there's some wet stuff. That's service. Okay. Thank you. The window's dirty, but I didn't clean it yet. We'll clean it in the morning. Why are you shifting with the wrong hand here? So this will probably be my last load. Oh, that's 
it for this video. Thanks for watching. Till the next one.